have the makings of a competitive squad. There were only a handful of registered professionals at the club and he needed to magic players from a top hat. Wheeling and dealing is the technical term and in that game, Roddy needed to learn fast. Brendan McGill spoke to his father. Right? I'll give you a man a call of Bolton. Sam Allardyce, please. Word goes round, it's a small industry. Word goes round, they say he's, he's not a bad bloke, at least he's straight. Yeah, Roddy Collins, thanks. The first time I rang Peter Reid was a blazing row. And he didn't. Johnny! Johnny! Just knock it inside! Fuck's sake! Fuck off! Don't annoy me, will you? For fuck's sake! Don't be annoying me, I'm not a pest, Don't be annoying me. Don't sell! Don't sell! Let's go, Robbie! Don't ball it! Don't ball it! Don't ball it! He's balling it! You and your reverie! Fuck it, don't be winning! Start well, but the omens are false. A soft goal for the visitors on the stroke of half time cues the outcome. Help him out! Standing looking like a garb here. And there it is, I'm telling you, I swear to the Holy Bible, I know the business side of what's going on. There is huge rewards because John is a decent, decent man. He's a very decent skinny. He is. We're guaranteed that it'll really feel quick. If we get to that final, you get suits. But you'll get suits that are a thousand pound suits. You might get some Mickey Mouse stupid suit. I'll have a tailor over from Dublin who does all my clobber and he'll come over and he'll fit everyone and it'll be absolutely brilliant. Push on the last one! Don't start already, I'm only fucking ben. two minutes in the ground for fuck's sake. Ben. Fuck ben. I'm two ben. minutes in the ground, you'll ask me to step back in. Yeah. Don't yeah. annoy me. Ben. Don't fucking annoy me. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, look, that is it. Don't start me off now. Don't start me off. Yeah, you started it. I'll tell your mother on you. Craig, wake up, come on. Come on, Craig, switch on, fella. Oh, bollocks. Down on it. Fucking 100 pounds of a wreck. Still enough time. Man. What's left? Bring it! Bring it! Bring it, Peter! Go on, hold it up! Hold it, start fucking playing right fucking now! Come on! For the team to play well and show, show the public and show the other football clubs and other chairmen that Roddy Collins can produce this type of performance and you conduct yourself right on the day and you get it tactically right and the team play well and you win the trophy but then obviously your profile goes through the roof. Oh, the talking in. Brady! We fucking win this! If we want to win it, we can fucking win it. Tell them that, come on! Oh, fucking hell! Jesus Christ! Bristol City as a club are a very big club but you know, people... Get up, get your fucking head up! Even so, the occasion has been a narcotic for Roddy, and he's hooked. I want this every week. I want to be an old traveller at Anfield or James's Park. I want this every week. managed to come out of that little tangle. Oh. The ingredient that you need to win a game. And I expect everyone to come off that pitch shattered. If I get a tactically wrong or I pick the wrong player, I'll take that, right? But outside of that, I won't fucking take any excuses off fucking nobody. And it's going to knock me back. What do you do? Not good enough, fuck it. You know, we've only 10 games. Me bollocks, it doesn't matter. Whatever they put in front of me, I'm going to go through it. Everything from now. There's only 12 weeks left. It's four. We're scoring four goals, two goals away from home. We're conceding square, was it? Come on, we don't concede nothing. Come on, play. Let's go, boys. I genuinely sat in the bus and I thought, I really, really felt there's not a goal on this bus. There wasn't one goal on the bus, you know? We're packing kit, 
We're packing bananas, we're packing Jaffa cakes, we're packing Luke, I said, we're packing water. And I said, you know, I think we'd be better off going on a picnic with all this gear because I couldn't see how we were going to get any result out of that trip. Oh, we go. Oh, it was killing me. Show them what you made of. Come on, the Bally Farm Brigade, come on. And have the ability to see things. You know, I'd sit down and say, Karen, I'm telling you, they're going to they're gonna concede a goal here. And this is how. And I would safely say seven out of ten would be true, and the other three would be near misses. I don't know what it is, I just can't figure it. Carolyn was the one that said it to me, really. Kevin King was on the telly and she said to me, Rod, she says, you could, you could be that. She says, you could be that, no problem. Hey, Kino, any way you want. <laughs> right, get that ball out of there, it's soft. Come on. No excuses here. The road to ruin is paved with excuses. Come on. Everyone start scoring, here's the gaffer, quick. Roddy's the guy in the goal. Our family went to Louis for years. We for all the clothes, so Louis looks after the whole. Even when Steve was fighting, we done it in Louis Copeland. And then you have Slattery's, which is an early house, where they're going to have a few points in there. And uh, obviously, you have the gym behind me here. Fantastic. So, in, in a small little triangle, with everything that you, you could ever want. Fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. Long may it last to, to be a dub and have all this. It's great. How are you, Lou? What's the I love clothes. I think it's great. I think presentation is so important. I mean, my father got buried in a nice, beautiful suit. You know, people tell us a shame, but that, that, was, that was the way it was when I was a kid at school. I remember the head teacher remarking to my mother that I was better dressed than the bank manager down the road. I always walked, I walked since I was 12, so I always had my own few quid, and I always invested in clothes, I love it. Yeah. I'm still a 22 inch waist, Louie. <laughs> plus, plus fat. Starting out what he was gonna do on the night, you know, he's a whiz kid all of a sudden. Jesus, can we not pass two yards to each other? Come on, sloppy. Sloppy in training, ends up sloppy on the pitch. Suddenly from Kipman to Mike Bassett, the England manager, he turned into him in one week. So I had to pull his hands back, you know, don't took all my equipment back. And rightly so. Yogi Bear's enough for girls. One and the horn! It's only one and the horn! Go on, Vic, feed it in, Vic! Freak show, I think it's a freak show. Andy has it. He definitely has it for a girls' team that can't win the game. And uh, I think we've conceded about 70 goals, scored one, so Andy definitely, definitely has a good CV. So if you want a girls' team to be relegated, employ Andy. Ah! <laughs> oh, Jesus! It's my long term ambition to manage Glasgow Celtic. That's where my dreams are, and manage the Republic of Ireland. I want to manage my country, and that's what I will do. I wouldn't walk away from here and leave a job half done. But I don't think it's going to take me five years to do that job. And as soon as that job is done, and I feel I've given on the road to, to, to my goal enough to Carlisle and can give it no more, and I have to step up, well then I'll sit with John and off I go.